This video is about uh, TPT using TPT exporting data from Teradata and uh, uploading into S3 bucket and it is using the uh, S3 access module. This way you don't have to land the data in an intermediate file system. Uh, it directly TPT manages to export and uh, upload into the destination. So I will describe the details once the command is executed. I have a, a TPT script, which is a TPT sample.txt. And uh, script TPT script takes some variables, and the variables are in uh, TPT variables.txt. Executing TPT command is using a tbuild uh, command line utility. So let's run the script and see what happens. It's going to take some time. The TPT script takes some time to initialize, uh, uh, reads the variables, and uh, um, makes the session between source and destination. Um, so it will print out the log of uh, S3 config details. I will also explain about uh, where to keep the S3 configuration details. Here we are not passing any uh, S3 access key or password. Um, when you try to use the, okay, for example, the screen is having the details. Let's take a look. Uh, here you can see Teradata S3 access module and its version 17.10 and uh, which is good. So this part is the important section. Sometimes we will not be able to make a connection to S3. Um, we can find out the reason whether it is picking up the from where the AWS configuration is reading the config directory and the profile and region and the bucket name and the S3 prefix, all other details and uh, access ID and access key. These two access ID and access key uh, comes through uh, credential files, which is in the home directory, which is this. Uh, config directory. Uh, I will walk you through the config directory what it has. So if you can see here, um, okay, this is completed. The job completed successfully. Uh, if you see here, my command, I will walk through the command, but uh, the important thing is here it is writing a uh, 10 files it is opening 10 files for write mode uh, writing these files and uh, once the rows are exported it is closing those files on s3 bucket and it will display some statistics how much time it took and how many megabytes sent <clears throat> total files processed 10 so let's uh, take a look about these commands as tpt sample.txt. So this is my tpt script. It's very simple. It's select star from the table finance transaction underscore big. This is my source table and uh, here in the apply to operator uh, i have a file writer and it is using access module which is uh, lib s3 axs module dot so this you will get it when you install the uh, teradata client utilities TTU latest version is 10 1710 I have used 
and uh, there are other parameters access module initialization string so here you will pass the key value pair uh, format so what is your s3 pocket this is what you see on the screen uh, in the tpd log and s3 prefix and uh, s3 object um, and uh, s3 single part file you make it true for more details you can go through the uh, Teradata tpt access module documentation um, i'll quickly go through the uh, other file which is a variable file so if you go to the variable file let's see what you have here you have the ppt attributes like uh, target uh, uh, host user and password and uh, some error list and uh, some log name and export operator attributes so you will be defining the source and source credentials like user and password which is again uh, our um, Teradata database itself and uh, data connector consumer operator variables like uh, file writer format delimiter file reader text delimiter and it's a delimiter you can provide and uh, the log file name and uh, write open mode is right obviously because we are exporting if we are inserting into teradata then you're gonna say read apply statement parameters so here important thing is uh, export instances uh, and file writer instances when I say file writer instances equal to 10 what TPT will do uh, TPT will create 10 files for the export otherwise it's a one file so you have a target table uh, table like uh, transaction finance transactions underscore big table if you don't specify the file writer instances uh, by default it will write into one single file so if the table is big then that file size will be uh, let's say 100 GB and uh, uncompressed maybe around 150 GB so pushing that big file to S3 may take time uh, so the best idea is to split those files into multiple chunks uh, there is the, another beautiful thing about TPT is when you put the file extension with the zip format it automatically exports and do the and applies the zip on the exported file and that chip will be shipped over to the network uh, to the cloud <clears throat> so that way uh, you, you are shipping a small amount of data across the network so splitting into multiple files will be parallelized so uh, here i said 10 10 file instances so 10 parallel process will be created by tpt and uh, it exports into 10 files parallelly and all those 10 files will be uh, zipped parallelly and then upload to s3 bucket parallelly so it's all uh, you, you can achieve the the best parallelism and export instances equal to one i have because uh, i'm using the uh, trial version on my pc so uh, i have only one amp uh, in a production scenario you will have uh, bigger systems like 
you 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 can have like uh, 140 or 160 and so on so based on that you will define the export instances to make it more parallelized so i would prefer to have uh, 10 export instances and uh, keep the file sizes as small as possible um, so that it will be easy to push it up to the s3 bucket uh, if you are um, using a cloud database for example snowflake to load these data then it will be very easy if the file size is uh, around 500 mb the split file size so that's that's why uh, i prefer to have these um, file writer instances to um, as small chunks as possible uh, the best one is uh, 500 mb if it is for snowflake so it won't take much time to copy into snowflake in that case okay now let's uh, take a look at the data so the data okay just uh, 10 minutes back we uploaded all this data thank you for watching if you have any questions you can send me in comments